You ever get that feeling like you're on the wrong side of the street? Like, here I am, as entertaining as I am. <laughs> but I, I need I need props. You know, this whole thing, I, I review a lot of food stuff. Um, and it just so happens that where I work at, we've got some access to fast food, but all the the majority of fast food around here is on the other side of the freeway so it's not a huge inconvenience but any inconvenience is, is an inconvenience um so i just thought i would gripe for just a second thank you for listening to me and i'll i'll find something i'm determined i'm determined that we're going to find something to review so stick with me What will I be reviewing today? I don't even know yet. But stick with me and we'll find out together. Well, I didn't have to travel far. Turns out on the other side of the freeway from where I work, there is a Del Taco and I know Del Taco has some value menu items on their menu. So let's let's check that out and see what a value menu shopper can get at Del Taco, find out whether or not it's tasty and whether or not it is a good value. Um, I had turned off the air conditioning in just the, the short little segment that I filmed a, a second ago, um, and then just re remembered that I had uh, worn my lapel mic, so hopefully, because the, the way that I'm filming this right now, I've got my phone right next to my vent. And, uh, and normally I would just record using, you know, the internal mic built into my phone. But um, obviously, if you got the air conditioner blowing against the phone, um, it's not going to make for very good quality audio. So, so normally I don't have this mic with me, and therefore I wouldn't be enjoying this nice air conditioned vehicle. Um, I'd just be baking in this moving oven. So. Yeah, I'm hoping the, the lapel mic is working and that it's picking up my audio really good. Uh, I tested it out before and it seemed like it, it worked out okay. Uh, so this way you guys don't see me sweat to death on camera. Because um, uh, that's not a pleasant experience for either one of us. Um, but yeah, we're still on our mission. Let's go get those uh, value menu items here. So there is a little bit of a line cool sign on the door says eat and surf free wi-fi so that's a benefit that del taco offers although i'm guessing a lot of places offer that now um does say that there's an offer going on right now where you can get two free del tacos um, looks like with the del taco app kind of dedicate some memory on your phone for that and then there's a Fiesta Break, or Break Fiesta. I get it. So they're trying to <clears throat> play on breakfast. Instead of breakfast, you have a Break Fiesta. There we go. And looks like it's a couple of rolled burritos or rolled tacos. And I don't know, is that French breadsticks? Who knows? That's not what we're here from for. It's the middle of the afternoon. We're here to get some lunch budget lunch let's do this this is not good <laughs> um i'm in the same spot i was in about maybe five minutes ago and it, the way we haven't moved um i think i've shared this on my channel before but there's a concept behind drive through windows at restaurants it's uh it's all about you know the quickness you come you order they got the stuff ready to go and you you dip out you know what I mean and uh, some people just see it seems like they haven't got the concept of that and they come through not knowing what they want to get which kind of where I'm at so a little hypocritical right there uh, but I'll call myself out on that but they don't want they don't know what they want <clears throat> and then when they do find out what they want they want a special order of that stuff and that just, it's not really what the whole drive-through concept was 
you know, created for. Like, this is supposed to be the fast option. But it looks like we're about to move, so let's go order our food. Um, <clears throat> I made it to the little speaker that I'm supposed to order at, but uh, nobody said anything so far. Are you close enough to order? Yeah. Um, can I... I'd like to order a... Um, looks like a queso chicken roller and a... Actually, can I make that a chipotle chicken roller and a ranch chicken roller? So, a ranch and a chipotle. Yeah. Fantastic. What else for you? That's everything. All right, those two rollers are going to be too tough today. Thank you. Two and twelve. Any sauce today? Uh, no, no thank you. No sauce? No problem. Sorry, I'm one penny short. <laughs> I had 211 ready and it turned out to be 212 so but I had that extra penny just sitting in my uh, little coin box over here all right thank you you too all right I got the bag I got the bag fellas let's go eat some rolled taco well to start with I did grab me one of these <coughs> from Sonic it's a diet cherry limeade. It's pretty tasty. Sorry, I was about to cough right there. That, <laughs> that wasn't my reaction um, to the soda. Let me do this one more time. Pretty tasty. Um, and it's their Mammoth Route 44 size. But it is a diet cherry limeade, so... Okay, before I can order my food, let's do another gripe right now. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, let me clear my throat. So, I don't know how you guys feel, <laughs> but um, sometimes you'll go into the drive-thru and people don't just pull up far enough for you to speak and place an order. Looks like we're moving now, though, so. What a hypocrite! Did you see what I just did there? I just griped at you guys, and thanks for listening, about... You know, the kind of mess that people make when they roll up to a drive through window and aren't prepared. And you just caught me on film doing that exact same thing. So, yeah, you know, I, I'm, I mess up too. I'm not infallible. So, uh, I guess now I'm, I'm in the opposite seat. So I'm going to say, hey, be kind and friendly and, and uh, understanding to those people who are not prepared to order in the drive through Jeez, I can't believe that happened to me just now <laughs> but now I'm, I'm waiting to pull up to the window to pay and uh, get my rollers <clears throat> and then we'll go ahead and try them out and uh, review them for you um, when she say the total came up to was like 211 or something like that and there's two of them um, I don't think these these roller rolled tacos are are very big items um, so one of them is not intended to fill you up probably two of them aren't either um but they're cheap so you buy them in quantities and that's how you get full off of them but i, I just need a snack just to kind of tide me over until i'm done with my work day and then uh go home and eat an actual meal but yeah let's uh let's pull up to the window eventually and get our food yeah <laughs> um so here i am um, my phone does tell me when I start the recording that it's using the external microphone. So hopefully all this sounds good. Um, I've got my car motor running. I've got my air conditioner on because it's starting to get warm here. Um, and I'm sure if you've watched any of my videos, um, there's been a time or two when I told you that this part of Idaho is desert. You know, we just happen to have this river system that flows through here and gives us some green um, just right here at the base of these mountains but um, you travel a little bit what is it like north or south of here and you're you're hitting desert so that being said let's try our tacos our rolled tacos so I got I got the bag we got the bag right here okay I'm afraid that was grease at first but that's the design on the bag um, I'm not sure what kind of design it is are those are those potatoes? Are they rocks? Are they coconuts? Got no clue. Anyway, let's 
grab one of these and uh, see how they taste. So my first one, these are the, the rollers. So this is a, how big they are. They're not super huge. You can get, is there, okay, I got a deck of cards right here. So we'll see, comparison shot right there. <sighs> Smells good. Um, but one was like Chipotle, that's not the, that's not what I was looking for. Here we go. Chipotle and one was Ranch. I think this is Chipotle. Yeah, the sauce in there is kind of pinkish looking. So let's give this a bite. And I got almost entirely just tortilla in that bite. So, tortilla-wise, it tastes like a flour tortilla. Now, it looks like this next bite will probably be a little bit more substantial. There we go. Oh, wow. Wow, that, that's actually delicious. Let's take another bite. Yeah, it's, it's got some of those pepper flavors. Surprisingly, it does taste pretty salty. I'm not sure how much salt is in that, but it's got a kind of creamy texture. Mm, the chicken is, is nice and finely chopped. Uh, I don't know. I, I think that's definitely worth... What are, what are these costing me again? A dollar? Yeah, I think it was probably worth a dollar. Let's... Uh, Let's give this other one a shot. So that was the Chipotle chicken roller. And this one is the ranch chicken roller. So and this is what they look like again. You don't actually get immediately to the meat. There's almost always one bite. But it's pretty much just tortilla. Oh, that was disgusting. It was like a little piece of rice. And now, let's get into this ranch chicken roller. There we go. That was a better bite. Mm. This one's a little salty too, but not much else going flavor-wise. I'm going to take another bite. Mm -mm. I'm going to go back to this guy right here, the Chipotle one. See the difference? It's a little more red tint to it. Yeah. Okay, so I've had them back to back to back, and I'm going to have to say the Chipotle flavor is better. Um, they're both a buck, so it's not like an extreme expense or anything like that. They're pretty small. Um... But out of the two, um, I'm probably going to say I, I, I will buy the Chipotle one again. I probably will not buy the ranch one. Well, that's just my preference because they're, they're both they're essentially the same thing. They just have a different flavor to them, and the Chipotle is a better flavor in in my opinion. But I am going to give them a thumbs up um, just because dollar really doesn't go very far these days. Um, I wish that wasn't the case, but it's just where we are right now. So, yeah, for a dollar you get just a small little tortilla that's not even packed full of 
uh, filling um, that's like about halfway through, well, maybe two, two thirds of the way, and one third of it is hollow tortilla. But yeah, that's where I'm at right now. They, they were definitely, they tasted good, but the chipotle was much, much better, much higher on that. I like the flavor <laughs> scale, if there is such a thing. So anyway, that's where I'm at right now. Um, testing out more video products, more, um, like I got this new microphone, got a, a couple new cameras, uh, got the DJI Osmo, DJI Osmo, I keep saying DJI, DJI Osmo, um, and did some practice filming with that, and then, um, Fernando and I actually did a video on his channel, uh, Bad Bot, Bad Bot Tech, um, so check that out, and we kind of did a short review of that camera on his channel. Still got a Vivitar um, 360 camera that I need to test out that I got a really good deal on. It was on clearance at Walmart. Uh, it was less than 50 bucks, so I thought that that would be a steal. Um, we'll have to test it out and just see how well it videos, but um, yeah, that's where I'm at, so stay tuned. Um, I'll be reviewing more stuff. This is Thank You, Happy to Be Here. Hope you guys are having a good day. Peace.